Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. So as you can tell by the video of today's title or title of today's video, this is part three and the final part of a three-part Dollar Tree haul series. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And now straight into the video. Okay, so I just want to go ahead and start out by saying it is my table is clean but you guys if you have been here before you know that I have table issues I have talked about them um, before so that's yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into what the first item that I have is a mixing bowl so I do have several mixing bowls around the house but I do not have one that's this size I just wanted to go ahead and pick it up just because no, most of the time I end up using the bigger mixing bowl when I'm using or cooking eggs for the family but there are times where not everyone wants eggs and only one or two per people may want those so instead of pulling out the big mixing bowl this will work this holds several eggs and um, is just better to use. I think it will be better to use. I also picked up more of the Dove Intensive Cream. So in one of my previous hauls, you saw where I picked up this cream. I have not been able to find it since. So it has been over a month, maybe two months now since I last picked it up. So I don't want you guys to think I cleared out the shelf by grabbing this box. So there were several on the shelf and I'll go ahead and insert this clip in a minute. But I went ahead and got four of the regular Dove Intensive Cream. What I mean by that, it's just in the blue container. So it's just a faint scent, um, really not a scent at all, but there is just a mild scent there. And then I also picked up the pink and white ones. I did not pick this up before. That smells so good. I actually just tried it before I started recording and it smells really good. It's just a really subtle smell, but there is um, some kind of smell to it. It's really, like I said, really so subtle, but I love it. It smells good. Also picked up the Lever 2000 Original Body Wash. This is another item that I have never seen at Dollar Tree before. So these came from two different Dollar Trees. I think I found one bottle in one Dollar Tree and I went to another Dollar Tree and was able to find a few more. So I have a total of four of those. And that's the size right here on the bottom. So I told you guys that we were a Dove family and we are. However, Lever 2000, I'm open to using that. I was told by a dermatologist when I was younger that this was great to use and my mom used to buy Lever 2000 soap as well as Caress. And there was Dove that she also used um, that the dermatologist had recommended for sensitive skin or for eczema. So my mom would rotate between this. So like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen it in Dollar Tree and the first time I think I've ever seen Lever 2000 body wash. So I picked it up. Several several of us in the house have sensitive skin, so we're going to try that out. Next item that I have is Salon Selective. So maybe it's just me, but I feel like this is a brand that has been around forever, like in the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a huge bottle. It also says that it's 60% more. I have a shampoo and conditioner. I'll only grab one of these or one of each of these just because they didn't have any more. I think they just had a few more shampoos, but no conditioner. So being that it was a pair, I did not pick it up, but it's a fairly large bottle. That's the size of it down there. And it's supposed to be moisturizing as well, which is great. I do have um, several kids and they each have different hair texture. So somebody will be able to use this in a house, even if all of them can't use it. I'm sure I'll at least have one kid that it works well in their hair. Next, I'm moving along to the Comet Classic Antibacterial Spray. Y'all, I am so excited about this spray. You guys know I love my Comet. I have never seen it in the spray form. I'm not sure if I've overlooked it or where I've been at, but I picked up four of these. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. I used it this morning. I used this one. I just tried it prior to filming and I like it. Um, I haven't used it. Like I said, that was my first time, but I'm impressed with it so far. So glad I picked four of those up. And I think I'm pretty much all set on my cleaning products at this point. I have a nice, good collection of cleaning products. So at this point, I think it's safe to say that I won't be picking up any more cleaning products anytime soon. 
All right, next I have the liquid skin. So this can be used in place of band-aids. If you don't have band-aids, you can use these. So I just picked up two different ones of those that will go into the medical supply closet. Also picked up two packages of the alcohol prep pads. Each have a hundred in the pack. There was not a limit on um, the alcohol prep pads, but I only grabbed two. I feel like I have another box in the house as well. So I don't use them um, a whole lot, but I do wanna go ahead and make sure I have some on hand. So I picked up two. Also picked up an ice pack because why not? Um, I have one that I got from Walmart that's bigger than this and I have used it on my back at times where I have issues with it. So I have issues with my back from time to time and I'll just ice certain areas. Um, I had a car accident a few months ago and then my job does not help because a lot of my job in involves leaning over um, just because I'm dealing with needles all day. So um, just being on my feet and bending over in certain positions causes my back to be aggravated at points or excuse me, at times. So I went ahead and picked this up and that'll go into the prepping closet for the medical supplies. Okay, so I also picked up these little Boggins. I picked up two of them. So this is the first time that I picked up the Boggins from Dollar Tree. They're good quality. They're pretty thick. I know you probably can't see on cam camera too well, but they're a nice quality. So I picked up two of the Boggins, or okay, beanies y'all, beanies. So where I'm from, we call them Toboggans or Boggins. So, but the official word or term is beanie. So I picked up two black ones. Also picked up the little footy socks for the girls. So the girls love these. I have picked these up before. Um, so, and they last, they're they're really good quality, um, especially coming from Dollar Tree. So I got this one, just a little polka dot. Then I have the yellow ones and they have the little grippies on the bottom as well, some of them. And I got these for the older girls, little piece of fluffy right there. They're the cutest little designs. Look at this. And then I have a panda and I have a little doggy. And then I think this is like a little owl. So this is for the girls. And like I said, they're great, especially for the winter to keep their feet warm. They really like them. Another new item at Dollar Tree, at least in my local Dollar Tree, I picked up several of these. I actually have more, but I didn't put them all on the table for you guys. I also grabbed a box for these. And again, I left plenty of these on the shelf. So these are just a Aroma Guru roll-on. Get tongue twisted, y'all. So this is for muscle pain. Here you go. You can read right here. It has a sweet oil in it. And it's all natural, 100% pure and natural essential oils. And it is a roll-on. So that's good for if you have muscle aches. And then lavender. Lavender is good. Everybody knows that lavender helps you relax. That is also a roll-on one. You can see it has a sweet almond oil and lavender essential oil. Same brand. Also have the dropper. Um, so this is just a ready-to-use lavender dropper. It has the same ingredients. Gives you a couple of different uses. And then one of the last ones that I have is just a peppermint. Also has a sweet almond oil and peppermint essential oils. This is also another roll on. So peppermint um, is good for headaches too, just to let you guys know. Like I said, this is the first time I've seen this item. So I grabbed quite a few of them and I'm gonna try them out. I feel like anytime I can get away with using more of homeopathic or all natural items, I'm totally down for it. So that's why I picked these up. Also picked up some glue. This is for the kids, um, just regular Elmer's glue, just a glitter glue. Nice sizes for a dollar, so I picked those up. Also picked up another item. This is just a sight word. So my little guy, he is my youngest. He is in first grade. So he is still working on his words. So it's just a simple pack, has little cards. You can cut those in half on the dollar line and just review the sight words with him. So there you go. The next items that I have, I've showed you these in a previous haul. It is the manual push light. I don't think I ever showed you guys this and how it looks in the dark. So I'll take this upstairs in a minute and show you guys how it looks. 
So I'm gonna set this to the side. And like I said, I picked up several of these. I will be adding these to the prepping pantry, some of them. Um, and then I can always place some of these around the house in a, in a linen closet, in a regular closet. I think they're good to use. Next item that I have is the LED lanterns. Okay guys, this is the first time that I ever saw these lanterns in Dollar Tree and I wish at this point that I had picked up more. So they require three AA batteries. So you just unscrew this and place them in that. I'm gonna take this upstairs as well in a minute and let you guys see how this lights up the room. For this one, it takes three AAA batteries. So this is three AAA and this is three double A's. So I will go ahead and take them up there in a minute just so you guys can see how they light up a room. So this will be good if God forbid we lose power or anything, we'll have a way to light up the house. I also bought some LED candles as well. I really wish I had picked these more of the lanterns up after seeing how they light up a room. Um, so I'll have to pop back in there sometime this week and hopefully they'll have some in there. Hey y'all, so this is how the bathroom looks before. Just ignore me, I look a hot mess today. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the light. And this is the smaller little light. And you can see how it lights up the bathroom. I mean, so if you need to take a shower in the dark, you can definitely do that. Lights it up pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this off now. And I'm gonna light up the other one. So I just cut this one on and it has different levels of brightness. So as you can see, you can't really see too much now. As I turn it up, here you go. So you're able to see the room is totally lit up now. And that's using this little lantern right here. So you can just take it and move it wherever you need to move it. Or my mirror. So there you have it. For a dollar, you can't beat it. I'm gonna get fancy and turn on two of them. That's how it looks. I mean, for two dollars, y'all, for your bathroom to be lit, lit up, I don't think you can beat it. I don't know what that is on the screen. There you go. Another new item, at least at my local Dollar Tree, are the table lamps. So these are the Sunbeam table lamps. As you can see, they're little small lamps, great for, I think, dorm rooms and just any type of smaller area that you have. You can use this in a regular room. I'm actually grabbing a couple of these to hang on. I have um, a couple of older kids that may go off to college, so for a dollar, you can't beat it. And I'll use these around the house as well. It does come with one of the LED light bulbs and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. So I got four of these from one Dollar Tree and then I grabbed a few more from another Dollar Tree. So they come in black and then they come in white. Let me move this out of the way for y'all. And then these are the instructions, super simple instructions. And then here's the actual product. So I'm not sure how tall it is. I have a water bottle, just a regular water bottle. And you can see, you can kind of compare to see how big it is. And it took me all of like less than a minute to set this whole thing up. So that's the base. And that's, that's the light with the light bulb. And then I'm going to turn it on for you guys. Just a second, I hooked it up. So you can see how it looks. Hope that's not too bright for y'all. But I think it's the cutest little thing. For a dollar, I think it's a great deal. Y'all know me in Dollar Tree. I think I'm obsessed at this point just because all the good deals you can find. But, I mean, it's a dollar. You can't beat it. 
and you guys got to see the comparison again to that water bottle. So the last items of this haul will be movies. So my Dollar Tree just got a movie section unless I overlooked it before or maybe they moved it or just stocked it up. I really think this is a new section in my Dollar Tree, at least the one that I normally go to. I picked up a few different movies. A lot of these movies were released in the last couple of years. Some of them were released anywhere from 2000, I think 18, 2019, um, and they were a dollar. So we don't watch a whole lot of DVDs, but again, for a dollar, why not? And sometimes our internet goes out so we can have something to watch. So I picked up this movie, The Odds. Here's another little creepy movie. <laughs> we picked up Warning Shot, Viking Blood, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs for the kids, Ungbok. I didn't care for this movie, but my husband loves it. And this is a Blu-ray movie, y'all. And then here's another movie. These last three are all Blu-ray discs, Badges of Fury. I picked this up for me just because I wanted to see what it was about. It's from the creator of Super Size Me and Jesus Camp. So I wanted to check it out and see what it what it's about. And then the last movie that I have is to Get Hard. And that's with uh, Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. I love both of these guys. So I picked that up. So again, all of these cost a dollar. You can't beat it. And so y'all, this is the end of the haul. This is last of part three series. So as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Thank you so much for anybody who has subscribed to my channel. Um, also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified each time I upload. I do upload several times a week. And if you guys have any questions or comment, make sure to drop those down below. I do go through all of my comments again, guys. It may take me a couple of days to go through the comments, but I do respond to each and every comment, even, I, even if I just give it a heart, just to acknowledge that I have read your comment.